This is the hands-on equations fractions for the smart board application. Let's go to the table of contents and let's illustrate with a, an example from lesson number six. It says 2y, so we will need two of the yellow blocks. Then it says plus half of y, half of y will be the red block plus a three, this is a constant of three, so we need a cube with the number three. On the right side, we need 17, so we have a 10 and a seven, and we need one sixth of y. Well, the green blocks are each a sixth of y. At this point, we are ready to do our legal moves. So let's take away a three value from this side and a three value from this side, so the seven becomes a four. Now, our goal is to isolate the number cubes on one side and the fraction blocks on the other. So we see that the green block is in the way. I can remove the green block from the right side of the equation, provided I do so from the left side. Now, we notice below that a red block is the same size as three green blocks. So let's remove one green block from this side, one green block from the half, and we're left with two of the green blocks. Now, in order to solve the problem, we need to have fraction blocks of only one color. Well, we know that each yellow block is equal to six green blocks. So we have six and six is 12 and two is 14. 14 green blocks are equal to 14. So each green block is equal to one. That means that each one sixth of Y is equal to one. Each green block is a sixth of y. So let's write the answer up here. Okay, so let me get my pen. So one sixth of y is one, and therefore y is going to be six. In order to do the check, we need to go back to the original physical setup. So we have two y plus half of y, plus three equal to 17 plus one sixth of y. Okay, now if y is six, I have six and six is 12 and three is 15 and three is 18. So the left side of the equation is gonna have the value of 18. On the right side, we have 10 and 7 is 17, and the green block, which is a sixth of y, which is 18. So both sides of the equation have the value of 18, and so that shows that our answer of 1, 6, y equals 1, and y equals 6 is correct. Now we can also pull down to the pull tab to verify the answer, okay? So this then gives you an idea of how you would use this application to illustrate the solution of fractional equations. There's also a work page where you're able to write any of the equations from the worksheets if you wish to illustrate them on this application. Each lesson has two examples, lesson one, example one, and lesson one, example two. These are the two examples from the hands-on equations fractions learning system. So this is a very nice application. I encourage you to get it. The students love coming up to solve the equation, and it's a very nice way to illustrate the problems and solutions for your class. This is Dr. Henry Borenson. Thank you. Mm -hmm.